Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Lawrence County. If you're presently a customer of ours, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to be your bank. We appreciate the confidence you have placed in us and enjoy providing you with the most up-to-date banking products and services to satisfy your needs. If you're not a current customer, we would like to invite you to stop by and let us show you true community banking at its best. We concentrate on our local community, doing our part to make Dublin and Lawrence County a better place to live, work, play, and retire. We recently introduced two new products, eStatements and Access Now, our mobile banking app. Both of these products will help to make banking with us more convenient and will also help to provide you with a safer and more secure banking experience. So for all your banking needs, just give us a call or stop by and let us show you personal banking at its best. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Shamrock Bowl. This is Stan Smith. I'm here with Crather Nelson tonight. And we're going to broadcast the game on behalf of Channel 35 between the Dublin Fighting Irish here in the Shamrock Bowl and the Southwest Patriots. Right now we have the toss of the coin going on in the middle of the field for the Dublin Fighting Irish. <laughs> I see the quarterback's number, but I... Yeah. Right uh, there, who are the rest of the uh, captains for the Irish? Say number 57, Jane Darisol is cap, one of the captains. Number 15, James Rozier. Number 9, Montarian Carswell. And of course, quarterback Rodriguez Martin, number 10. Can't, can't see the numbers very well for the Southwest captains. Let's, let's see who's right. one to toss. Dublin will be on the east end of the stadium and they will receive. Southwest evidently won the call, toss and elected to defer to the second half. So the Irish will have the ball to start the game. This is a big region game tonight. Dublin coming off a tough loss at Dodge County last week. Critical that they went get a win tonight to keep pace in the region. Dodge County's got a game, I believe, at Washington County tonight, which will be a tough one for them. Big game for Dublin if they can get a win to keep pace in the region. Trying to knock down both a playoff spot and hopefully at least one home game in the playoffs as well. Well, of Dublin's losses, two of them are top ten teams in double-A yep. classification, right. Slainsboro and Dodge right. County. Veterans is, I believe, a 4A team. The Irish Veterans is sideline. a 5A team. Or 5A, excuse me. The Irish hit the sideline. They're taped in pink tonight, as are the cheerleaders with the pink shirts. They do that to honor the fight against breast cancer. Southwest stand with a, you, you said you saw them out earlier. I didn't see them earlier on the field. Pretty good sized team, a lot of athletes over there, it looks like. I would like to say this is a sellout in the Shamrock Bowl, but I will not do that tonight. A lot of disappointed fans based on last week's loss to Dodge County. And literally, this may be the game where everybody's playing for second place. Southwest in Dublin. May be, but it's critical to win it. And of course, if you do, even if you finish number two, you know you'll get at least one home playoff game. And uh, you and I have both seen seen seasons in the past where sometimes the number two, or three, or four team, even coming out of the region, gets a better draw than the number one team. So you never know how that works out. But the big thing is that. Dublin can keep winning. They should finish no worse than second in the region. And as I said, if you do that, you're guaranteed at least one home playoff game. All right, well, it's a big game over in Washington County tonight yeah. between Dodge County there and Washington is. County. That's right. The Southwest lines up to kick. The Patriots. I believe back deep for Dublin would be number three, Zion Washington, and number six, Tyler Strickland. Shamrock Bowl is always in immaculate condition. Looks like 
we've had unusually warm weather, so you still got a lot of green grass out there. It hasn't turned brown yet. And here's the kick, kind of a knuckleball kick, hit about the 25, Strickland picks it up just shy of the 20, coming to his left, and he's, he's got, got an a lane, opening. he's got a yep. lane. Gets down the sideline. One man cut him off, but he'll still be staying all the way across midfield. Looks like it'll be marked at Southwest 49 yard line. And you recall that Bleckley County game the last time Dublin played at home, how big field position was for Dublin building a big lead that they wound up having to kind of hang on to in the second half. So, of course, last week Bleckley right. County played Washington County, came back and won the game. That's Washington right. County plays Dodge County tonight, right. and sooner or later, Washington County, based on their history, is going to open up against someone. That's right. Yeah, we hope it's tonight. Yeah, Dodge better bring your A game. Ball will be spotted at the 48. Now, Big different shift. look for Dublin. Uh, Martin back to pass, rolling to his right. Got a man open, oh. just missed. Jaquez Evans is tight in. Nice pass to play. Stan, that ball was thrown just a hair high. Jaquez Evans made a nice effort, just couldn't come down with it. Brings up a second and 10 from yeah. the 49 yard line of the Southwest Patriots. Still 11.42 left in the game. There's a handoff to Mitchell. <laughs> he got a short gain around the right end. Well played, I think, by the Southwest defense. He got, what, about two yards? Call it a short eight on third down for Dublin with 11.22 to go in the first quarter, the initial possession of the ball game. Every morning, you're up at dawn to take care of the land you love. So are we. That's why Kubota dealers are the best at understanding what you need and sending you home with the perfect machine for the job. We know more than equipment. We know you. Freeman's Lawn and Garden. Call us at 272-2198. You see Evans coming out. Usually Steve Linton goes in when he's out. Big game in Forsyth tonight yeah. between the West Lawrence Raiders and the Mayor Persons Bulldogs. And we actually, wish a lot of luck to the West Lawrence Raiders. Actually, I think that's next week, Stan. I think oh. West Lawrence is open this week. You're right. They are open. Next week, big game coming up. Martin went down. He tried to throw that ball, but protection broke down. The rush, pass rush got on him pretty quick. He sacked for about a six yard loss. That'll bring up fourth and 14 for Dublin. Back to kick number 16, Gabriel Guyton. He's standing just outside his 35. Good snap, Ro runs to his right and does that rugby kick. Off the side of his foot, let's see, it went out of bounds. Let's see where they mark it, Stan. That wasn't a very good punt. He, nope. He, he almost called that a shank. Nine yard punt. Yeah, yeah, the ball will be spotted at the, I believe they're 38. So, let's see. The ball was snapped on our 47, so three, only about a only about a 15-yard punt, unfortunately, for Dublin. 
Southwest comes up, they got trips right, you know, spread, hand off on the jet sweep, gets to the corner, and, Good. and bounces Good. it outside. Nice, nice run by number eight. Javoris Smith. Stan, you can tell he's a great athlete. He's listed as a, as a cornerback, wide receiver, and running back. So he does a little bit of everything for them. It'll be a first down for Southwest at their 48. Their quarterback, number 11, Jordan Slocum. Big kid, listed at 6'5. Quarterback Slocum draw. Keith. Yep. Well, pretty well played by the Dublin defense. I see Stacy Sharp in there. Bruce Guyton, I believe, getting up off the pile. Well played by the Dublin defense. They'll hold him to maybe a two yard gain. The ball will be placed just outside Dublin's 49. Let's call it second and a short eight. Looks like Southwest will run out of the shotgun all night, Stan, from what I've seen so far. According to everything I've heard, yeah, that's what they jet do. Jet sweep to number five. Well played by Guyton. He seemed to have a little bit of a lane. That's Jaquez Pennyman. Oh, let's check the end of the play. I believe Devlin forced a fumble. Number nine, Monterey and Carswell comes out of the pile with it. Nice play by Guyton. In addition, and it to is a recovery yeah. for the Dublin Fighting Irish. In addition to making the play, obviously he got an arm in there and stripped that football out. So a nice, nice play by the Dublin defense and a huge turnover for Dublin. Ball will be placed at their 47, first and 10, with 9:24 to go in the first quarter. Remind you, after the game, we'll have the offensive and defensive players of the game brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. Martin brings them up. Oh, they had a man shoot a gap. Nailed Greg Jones well behind the line. About a five yard loss right there. They had one of their linemen just shoot a gap right there. Nobody picked him up. And that was number nine, yeah. Green. Yeah, number nine, Randy Green, one of their linebackers. He is one of the two young men that plays for Southwest that they say will play on Saturday. I know their tailback is a kid that transferred from Twiggs County is highly, highly touted. Inside handoff to Mitchell, big hole off the right side. He gets up to about the original yeah, line of scrimmage, right. Trayther, bringing yeah. up a third and 10. Yep. Ball will be placed, like you said, back in the original line of scrimmage. Call it a long 10 for Dublin on third down. Neither team, well, it's been one first down. I think Southwest got one first down on their first drive before they fumbled. Dublin, I don't believe, has a first down yet. Martin rolls to his left looking to pass. He's going to pull it down and run up the sideline. He gets nice the first down. Yeah, he did get the first down. Good second effort right there. Stan, as he got near the, to about the 45 or so, the guy had a beat on him. He made a nice move to get three or four more yards to pick up that first down. First down, I think that was a keeper all the way. He kind of had a pass look at first, but I think the idea was always for him to just show pass and then peel off to his left. A nice job by Martin to pick up the first down. We got a timeout by Southwest with 7.52 to go in the first quarter. No score from the Shamrock Bowl. You've been saying you want it, and now's the time to get it. Pool and patio furniture in style with fabrics you want, comfort and durability you deserve. You'll even save on accessories and add your own personal style. Peak season and telescope casual furniture, a new category of furniture made of superior quality marine grade polymer will not crack nor separate in any outdoor environment and proudly made in America. Come see the full line of pool and patio furniture at Midstate Pools 
pools and spas today and bring home a colorful poolside with the original Pauly's Island Adirondack chairs. Visit our showroom today and see the complete line of lounge chairs for your pool and see the selection of Louisiana grills. The wood pellet grill that bakes, roasts, braids, smokes, grills, sears, char grills, and barbecues. Anytime's a great time for a Louisiana grill. And now's a great time to save at Mid-State Pools and Spas, located on Veterans Boulevard in Dublin. Mid-State Pools and Spas, we know pools. And we're back here at the Shamrock Bowl with 7.52 to go from the first quarter. Dublin's just picked up a first down. Ball will be spotted at Southwest 47 yard line. I'm sorry, 42. So it looked like a little bit of motion. Yep, yeah, there was motion. Yeah. And there goes the flag. Yeah, yeah double hit. the play. Cooley had it for yeah, a yeah. good run. Yeah, he did. That was a nice inside handoff. There was a nice hole straight up the gut for him, but unfortunately, movement before the snap. Go back doubling up. You can see that. Dublin linemen talking among themselves, amongst themselves, trying to get the timing right. So that'll make it first and 15 for the Irish. Ball is now back to where I said a minute ago, the 47. Martin pulls it down, tries to go off to his right. He pulled the ball on the, from the dive play, which was defense well by Southwest. He tried to go off to his right on a keeper and got knocked down. No game. It'll be second and 15 for the Irish. Looks like the tackle was by number six, Courtney Robinson on that play. Stan, you talked about their size. They also look very athletic. They're fast, they tackle well. I was hoping they'd just be a bunch of big, stiff, slow guys, but it doesn't look like they are. The handoff to Mitchell off the right tackle. He'll pick his way for about six or seven yards. Bring up third and third down about, and 11, third about third 12. Down Come on, Ball will be spotted at the 44 yard line. Actually, he'll only get about three yards. Thought he got more than that. Third and 12 for the Irish with 6.40 to go in the first quarter. Inside handoff to Cooley. Not a whole lot of room there. He gets, does get it down to about the 40, but he'll be well short of the first down. Looks like Stan Coach Holmes will choose to kick it and try to put them deep in a hole. Playing team comes on the field. We've got 6.06 left in the first quarter. No score. Only a couple of first downs so far in the first quarter. Guyton, low snap, he feels it nicely, comes up. Oh, he, he tried to Block. do that rugby punt. Southwest yeah, is yeah. on the ball. One of, their, one of their defenders got on him before about he could kick 44 it. 44-yard line, oh, Southwest recovers the, the ball. Yeah. They're going to mark it on about the 45. Just shy of the 45-yard line of the Southwest Patriots, so they'll take over. Stan, unfortunately, the low snap, I think, threw off his rhythm there, and as he tried to make the kick, a man hit him, hit his leg, actually, which is legal and he was unable to get the punt off, so excellent field position for Southwest on their second possession of the game. Inside handoff to number eight. Oh, well played nowhere, right there. Well yeah, played absolutely nowhere. The Steve Linton was there, the Stacy Sharp, Jaquez Evans. Nice, nicely played by the right side of the Dublin defense. Let's give him no no gain, second and 10. That was Jabari Smith, their tailback. Trips right, quarterback back looking to throw. Now he pulls it down and runs. Well covered again. Gain of about two and a half, three yards. Evans was there. Also, Chris Oliver, number 68, with a nice play right there. Take him down, give him about two yards to bring up third and eight for Southwest. Maybe a, maybe a long seven.
Dr. Jackson Fordham is a proud sponsor of local high school football on TV35. Dr. Fordham is located in his new office at 204 Fairview Park Drive. His experienced staff is ready to serve you today. So call and make an appointment at 272-4051. For all your dental needs, count on Dr. Jackson Fordham. Brings up about a third and a long seven for the Patriots. Slocum back in the shotgun. Looking to throw, look to his right. Throws a ball, complete the number seven is wide receiver. He'll be right near the first down stand, depending on where they mark him down. That was Montez Askew, his wide receiver. And they may give him enough for that first they down. They call it a first down. They're yeah. now down to the Dublin 45 yard line. Yes. I'm not. Invade the Irish territory yep. for the first time tonight. 437 left in the first quarter. I thought he might have been just short, but he got a favorable spot in his first and 10 for the Patriots. Good play by Slocum that time, the Southwest quarterback. It was a nice throw. Slocum comes off to his right, now he pitches Pitch it to Smith. Nice run up the right side, down to about the 35-yard line. And that's going to be a close to a first down. Yeah. Looks like he's about two yards short. That was just a little option. The quarterback came out, read the defensive end. When he came at him, he pitched it to Smith for a nice game. Slocum back inside handoff to Smith, Smith again off to his right. He'll get a couple of yards. He got the first yeah. down though. Yeah. Darius Blackshear in on that tackle. Okay, he did. Okay, he was just short, so that does give him a first down. Ball be spotted at Dublin's 33 yard line. Patriots go without a huddle. Slocum gets the play from the sideline, and he'll let his talking to his lineman about either the snap count or the play itself. They got trips left. Inside handoff to Smith. Smith. Nice hole right up the, he middle. Goes up the middle. He's all the way down to the Dublin 20 yard line. They're going to mark it right on the 20 yard line. 322 left in the first quarter. And this is the first sustained drive of this game. Ontario and Cars will make the tackle. I thought he was down for a minute. Maybe a couple of cobwebs. He shakes it off and stays in the game. Southwest again with trips left. A little bit of tempo right here. That's a handoff to their other running back. Well played by the Dublin defense. I believe that's Linton on that play. That was number 27 for yeah. the Southwest Patriots. But tackle, I can't, tackle by number 27. I can't see the lineup without my glasses. <laughs> Let's see. That's Jaquavius Jones for them and Steve Linton. Both guys wearing number 27, Steve Linton on the tackle for the Irish. Nicely played by him. Second and 10 for Southwest. Again, trips left. Slocum looking to throw, looks to his left, throws to the pylon. Over yep, the head over of the receiver. Yep. Tyler Strickland was in good shape right there on the receiver. I, think he, I don't think that ball was catchable. He's, that wide receiver is not very tall, Stan. I don't, you'd have needed to been about 6'5 and had long arms to have a shot at that one. That'll bring up a big third and 10 now for the Dublin defense. Southwest from the Dublin 20. Again, trips left. Dublin out of position again. as the play was called. And again, uh, over yep. the head of the end yeah, receiver had, uh, again, overthrown, 241 left. That was Askew on the pattern. He had him, looked like he had him open, but he overthrew him on the sideline. We'll bring out fourth and 10 for Southwest. They may go for this, Stan. I don't know how good their kicking game is. Smith coming back into yeah. the ball game, the running back for the Southwest yeah. Patriots has done the damage so far tonight. Now he goes back out, number 27. They're a little late getting the call. They may have to use a timeout here. There seems to be confusion on the Southwest offense. But now Slocum brings them up. Back to pass, looking to his left. All thrown and nearly intercepted. Steve Linton, who's normally a defensive end or outside linebacker, was well down the field. 
Stan, he's about 6'4 with long arms, so it's hard to throw the ball over That's him. Right. Nice play by Linton. So the Irish will take over on their own 20 yard line, 235 yeah. left in the first quarter. That's a nice stand by the Dublin defense after Southwest got a couple first downs and get it all the way down to their 20 yard line. <laughs> This is something we have not seen this year from this location. Very little scoring in the first quarter. That's right. Dublin comes up. Martin, Martin brings him up. Cooley set directly behind him. There's a handoff to Cooley off to the left side. And Cooley is on the run. Yeah, he, he did a nice All the job. way up to the 40 yard line yep. where he's run out of bounds at the 39. Yeah, Cooley took that. Inside handoff stand, there was a man on him. I thought he was going to get the tackle in the backfield, but he ran through the tackle and picked up 19 yards. The ball will be all the way out to Dublin's 39 yard line. It'll be first down, Dublin Irish, 228 left in the quarter. First and 10 on their own 39. That's by far the biggest play of the night so far for the Dublin offense. Cooley again directly behind Martin. There's a handoff to Carswell around the left side. He's got a nice run across midfield. Ball will be all the way down near their 45 yard line. It'll actually be spotted on the 47. That'll be another first down for Dublin. They move it into the Patriot yep. territory. Yep. I was about to say, all of a sudden, Dublin getting a little rhythm on offense. Allen's Heating and Air is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Air to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands. With the purchase of a new Amana unit, you'll get a lifetime warranty on the compressor. Allen's Heating and Air. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Air. Amana Heating and Air Conditioners. Last and last and last. Southwest and navy blue bottoms, white jerseys, red numbers, dark blue helmets, and Dublin in their traditional green and gold home uniforms. Inside handoff to Cook. No, he, oh, he comes outside to Mitchell. I, that completely Mitchell fooled me. All the way down to about the 32 yard line. That's, it looks like they're going to mark it on 33, Craven. Yeah, that's great ball movement by Martin right there. I, Myself and most of the Southwest defense thought Cooley had it on the handoff. He did a great job of hiding that ball and then going around the right side and pitching it Thank to, you. yeah. <laughs> pitching it to, uh, to Mitchell who got it all the way down to the 32. 158 left in the quarter. Dublin moving now. Both teams with a, with a handoff to Carswell on the little sweep around the left side. He'll get maybe two yards out of it. That was number, was that number nine Carswell? Yeah, that was, was Monterey and Carswell, okay. I believe. That was well played by the right side of the Patriot defense. They stayed home and held him to a minimal gain. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball resting on the 30 yard line. 129 left in the quarter. Dublin moving to the west side of the stadium. And off to Mitchell around the right side, no blocking. Called. Yeah, he'll be thrown for a loss. Back to the original line of scrimmage, it looks like. That was like. number 73 for the Patriots. And I don't have on my glasses. Uh, I don't see a 73 listed, but it was a nice play by him. See 69, 74, 75, no 73. Brings up a third and 10 yards to go. Uh, we got a flag. Apparently, we got motion on the Dublin offense. Illegal procedure yeah. on the Irish. Illegal procedure. That'll make it, move it back and make it third and 15 now from the 37. 
folks, don't forget to stay with us immediately after tonight's game for the offensive and defensive players of the game for the Irish, brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. Uh, out of respect for the cancer prevention month, the month of October, and I applaud our officials and those armbands in the Irish are wearing as well. Third and 15 for the Irish. This will be the should be the final play of the first quarter. Martin, we may well, have yeah, we'll see. Yeah, in they had a Patriot. Yeah, they may give us that five yards right back. One of their defensive tackles tried to jump the snap count, was caught in the neutral zone, I believe. On the Patriots. It is on the Patriots, so that'll that brings up the third and ten yep. once again. Ball resting on about the 32 yard line. And that will actually be the end of the quarter as the clock resets. And we're gonna switch sides of the field. Yep. So at the end of the first quarter from the Shamrock Bowl, your score, uh, Dublin no, nothing, no, 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 Southwest no, no, no. nothing. In 2011, we had a really bad snowstorm and we were out of power for six days and we couldn't find a hotel to go to that would accommodate the family and the dog. We lost hundreds of dollars worth of steak and hamburgers and things like that that we had in our freezer downstairs. And once Hurricane Sandy hit in this area, it was very, very traumatic for everybody. But thanks to the Generac 20 kilowatt generator that we have, we, you know, we barely noticed it. We have heat, we have air conditioning, we have all of it. The world around us was very chaotic, but in our home, we were, felt very safe and secure. I'd be more than happy to buy, buy it again. You know, it's, it's one of the best investments I've ever made in this house. Don't ever get caught in the dark again. Call the City of Dublin Natural Gas today. 0% financing and we'll just add it to your bill. The City of Dublin Natural Gas, the smart choice. All right, we're back. Starting the second quarter from the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin with their first legitimate drive of the night. But however, they're third and 10 from the 32 of Southwest to open the quarter. Martin rolls to his right, looking to throw, a little throw back to Carswell down out in the left flat. Carswell, no He's block in there. Down. Yep, up down Lost by about a yard. one of the. That that Defensive backs for Southwest, I believe that's 27, Jaquavius Jones, who's a strong safety for them. He actually lost a yard stand, so it'll be fourth and 11 for Dublin. Let's see what Coach Holmes chooses to do. Looks like he's gonna go for it. That does appear to be the decision. Right, he's kind of down play, Craker. Yeah, yeah, very much. He's kind of in no man's land right here. It's way too far for a field goal, and chances are, if you punt it, you just punt it in the end zone. He only net 12 yards. So, Coach Holmes makes the decision to go for it on fourth and ten. Martin rolls to his right under heavy oh. pressure. He'll be sacked. That's that linebacker nine, again. Yep. Green. Yep. Uh, Randy Green. Randy Green. Yep. He just shot a gap like he did earlier and got easily to Martin for the sack. And that, that sack takes the ball all the way out just shy of the southwest 40 yard line. So they'll have good field position for their starting their drive. Neither team can really complain right. about lack of field position. No. They just did not right. seem to be able to put together a sustained drive. Also, you got a new quarterback in, Malik Frazier, for them. Hand off to Smith. Boy, nice and move Smith around the right side. Move. Yeah, he did. All the way up but to the But I thought I saw line. a hold, and sure enough, right out in front of the play before he made that cut, one of their linemen was holding number 74 for Dublin. That's Barrett Wadley was being held right out in front of the play. The officials saw it very clearly. And that'll take Southwest back about at least 10 yards from the spot of the foul. That's going to bring up about a first down, 16 yards to go. It goes from the spot yeah. of the foul. Yeah. They'll take the ball all the way back to their 34-yard line. 17 yards yep. to go. Yep. They've got to get to midfield for first down. Malik Frazier, the quarterback who came in a minute ago, 
is in. Apparently they play him every few series in relief of Slocum. Inside handoff to Smith, tries to break it out to his left. Well played by the Dublin defense. I think Carswell's there. No, that's Stacy Sharp. And another, yeah, one of the other Dublin defenders was there with him. I couldn't see who that was. Nicely played by those two. Got a little extracurriculars after the play. It might have been Jaquez Evans. No flags, but there have been no colorful flags. games yep. between yep. the Southwest Patriots and the Dublin yep. Fighting Irish in this stadium. And I saw a play on the sideline, or on the Dublin sideline earlier, and it sounded like some trash talking definitely going on out there. But Frazier brings them up. It's second and 16, so they only gain one yard there. Looking to throw, looks to his right, throws, has a man open. Across the 50, that'll be first down. I believe that's number five, Jaquez Pennyman for them. Nice throw by Frazier, who I take it is not their throwing quarterback. He looks more like a runner, but he made a nice throw right there. They got two men to each side now as Frazier brings them up. The ball will be placed on Dublin's 49 yard line. First down for Southwest. Inside handoff, no room. No room whatsoever. No room. Steve Linton had a shot at him behind the line, and then Jaquez Evans. Number 55. Yep, 55 is uh, Jalen Carter. He and Evans cleaned him up right there. Nicely played. Steve Linton made the play. He didn't make the tackle, but he made the play by breaking into the backfield, throwing off the rhythm of the run. 927 left in the half. Second down, 11. Uh, low snap. Lynn got him that time. It was a low snap for Frazier. He was looking to his left, and Lynn came from his blind side for the side. Nice play by Lynn. Patriots will be third and 15 now. Two men to each side for Frazier. Back looking to his right, throws deep. Well overthrown, it's intercepted by number 11 for Dublin. Jawarski Tubridge. Yeah. Frazier overthrew that ball by a good bit and nice play by Tubridge on the interception. Second turnover for the Patriots. That's right. Dublin needs to start converting. Yeah. Yeah. 8.37 left to go in the half. Dublin will take over right at the 30 yard line. Your Chevy team that can't be beat is Dublin Chevrolet. Drive home with up to $10,000 off on a tough Silverado. Dublin Chevrolet. They know a winning team when they see one. A lot of people don't know that Nationwide Insurance is the largest farm insurer in the country. Example, this tractor. There's multiple ways to cover your equipment. It is replacement cost, actual cash value, insuring the GPS system on it. In addition to tractors, we also cover any implements that you would like to cover. Like this front end loader has a value added to your tractor or on its own. A lot of times, the only way we will insure a farm is if we come to your site. We're gonna walk it, we're gonna talk it, we're gonna find out what you do and what your interests are. We're gonna customize it so that you get full benefit with the broadest coverage that's available on the market today. A lot of people find out at the time of a claim that they were not properly covered. That is my worst fear. So we make sure going in that you are covered properly. Don't forget to insure your sprayer. A lot of people say, I rode by and didn't see you at your office. That's cause I was probably on a farm. All right, we're back. Martin brings the Irish offense up. There's a buck sweep to Mitchell, nice cut. He's out across the 40 out and close to midfield. Nice cut by Mitchell right there. Stan, he stuck his foot in the ground as he came around and just went with great acceleration directly up the field for a nice run by Mitchell. He didn't lose his helmet at the end, so they have to come out for a play, but he, he got a gain of 
Good about run. 17 yards of double and have first down at their 47 with 8.27 to go in the half. That Irish offense is starting to get some rhythm. They've ripped off several nice runs over their last two or three drives, but they just haven't been able to put anything together in terms of scoring points. There goes number nine. Yep. And number There's a big hit, big Jones. hand off to Jones. And he's up for yep. another first yep. down. Well, I think they're going to mark his knee down around the 45, but it's a nice run. They're going to give yep. him nine yards yep. on that play. I think a guy came in from the side and just got his knee to the ground. Ball will be placed actually on the 44. Let's call it second and a long one. Nice run by Jones right there. There was a good hole off the left side of the Dublin offense. Ball resting on the Patriot 44 yard line. 739 left to go in the first quarter. There's a handoff to Mitchell, Mitchell breaks Mitchell it outside. outside. Oh, he There's got a flag. flag, got a flag. He's down Mitchell near the 20. The I'm afraid we flag. may have a hold on Dublin out in front of the play. Let's check it. Southwest also with a man, well, he was down for a minute. I believe that's green. He's just slow to get up. Let's check this call. I would imagine it'll be holding against Dublin. Yeah, two penalties on the play. Actually, two the flags, apparently. And the, and the refs are talking it over. The one about the 45-yard line is obviously going to be holding on I Dublin. I believe so. But I'm not sure about the one downfield. Yeah, it is hold on Dublin. For, face, face mask, mask on Southwest. Those play, penalties are all setting. Replay the down. A holding call and a face mask. First of all. They should replay the down, I believe. They will. Oh, they play back at about the... 44. 44 yards. Down for the yard. So obviously you hate the holding penalty because Stan, we would have been down near the 20 on the game plus the penalty if it had been just a face mask on them. But still it's doubling with a second one from their 44 with 722 to go in the half. Martin brings them up. Lindsay, one man, one man out wide to the left. There's Cooley on the inside Cooley, handoff breaks gets, into the clear inside the 40 down about the 38 yard line. Green on the stop. Nice run by Cooley. Nice tackle by Green, though. Cooley had a good head of steam up. And they are yeah. moving the down markers. That gets the first down. Keeps the drive going. 709 left in the half. That ball will be placed on the, actually on the 37 of Southwest. Southwest is big across that defense. They line, are. But right now, the They're, Dublin front of the Irish yeah. seem to be having their way. So hand off to offensive Mitchell line. around Southwest. the right Mitchell side. Down, nice run up. into the clear all the way inside down to the 20. 19 yard line. Yeah. That's where they're going to mark it. Another first yeah. down. Great run by Cortavis Mitchell. Good blocking by the interior of the Dublin line, but a couple of great moves by Mitchell also. Good misdirection play by Dublin on that on that call. All right, Dublin will be first and ten from the Southwest 19 yard line. Cooley takes yeah, no, Martin faked Martin it. He's faked. in the clear down the sideline. Nice cut into the end zone. Touchdown, Irish. That was a great fake by Martin right there. Great ball fake. And he just peeled off to his right stand and made one man miss just before he got to the goal line to get in for the touchdown. And a good follow-up by Cooley because everybody yep. went after Cooley. They sure did. And Martin stepped to the outside and he was gone. I had some raffle tickets. I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> I guess I donated that. Evans, Evans on for the extra point. Okay, and cars will be the cars will hold him. Good snap. Kick is up That's and good. good. So with 6-12 to go in the half, your new score from the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin 7, Southwest nothing.
Hi, I'm Anna Grace with Myers Equipment and Supply, your dealer for the complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATV products. For hunting, farming, or riding the trails, Can-Am has the models you need. If you choose the Can-Am Defender side-by-side, -side, which is engineered to maximize a hard day's work on the farm or on a hunt, Defenders offer 20% more torque than its rivals. You can carry 1,000 pounds of payload or tow 2,000 pounds of cargo. You will appreciate Can-Am's precision engineering and industry-leading performance. Come into Myers Equipment today and see the full line of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. Can-Am, the ride says it all. All right, we're back from the Shamrock Bowl. Jacquez Evans to kick off for Dublin. The Irish have just driven 70 yards for the first points of the game, and they now have a 7-0 lead over Southwest. Good kick by Good Evans. Kick. Down almost to the goal line. Looks like number eight, yeah. Smith. Number eight, Smith. Made a couple of guys miss off to his right, across the 20, and he'll be shoved out of bounds. Somewhere near the 25 yard line. Well, he is hard to tackle. About the 24, I think. Yeah. He is hard to get a bead on. Ball will be placed on the 24 of Southwest. They'll have it first and 10 with 604 as they trail 7-0. I think Slocum's back in now. You can tell he's a good bit taller than Frazier. Yep. And now we've got a official timeout for something. I guess Southwest must have called a timeout. Southwest called yeah. that timeout, okay. Craig, but that'll bring them right. up one timeout left in this half. 6.04 left to go. We'll be right back. A lot of people don't know the Nationwide Insurance is the largest farm insurer in the country. Is your irrigation or your equipment insured at actual cash value or is it insured at replacement cost? How will the actual cash value actually be determined? By market value, which you can buy a used piece of equipment on the market for, or at some formula your insurance company has come up with? Replacement cost, is it at what it would have been at the current model or the new model. Don't find out at the time of a claim. Call us and let us go through it with you to help make sure that you're insured getting the most value for your dollar. Are your barns, equipment sheds, other structures covered properly? Is your livestock? Is your chemical in storage? Are your fuel tanks, your nitrogen tanks? Are all these items covered? Have you ever been asked? That's what we do when we come to your farm because we're on your side. Nationwide and Walker Insurance is on your side. All right, we're back in the Shamrock Bowl with 6.04 to go in the first half. Southwest up after they had some confusion in their lineup and had to use their second time out of the half. Their quarterback Slocum brings them up. He's got trips left. Off to his right on a little option play. He'll pitch it late, and he should have kept it because his, his, his uh, running back will lose about four yards. Well played by the yeah, Dublin Fighting Irish. Yeah, defense. there was all the way over on their sideline. It's hard to see who made the play, but the left. Slocum tried to spread them, but yeah. they spread right along with him. Yeah, the left side of the Dublin defense played that extremely well. I saw Evans over there. That's a pretty Several big loss, right there, yeah. about four yards. Yeah, be second and 13. Ball be spotted at 21. Slocum back to pass. Nice throw, got a man open near the 30. That's number one, he's out across the 35. Antonio Valentine. Valentine gets the first down, 547 left. He found a soft spot in the Dublin defense right there and was wide open and Slocum made a nice throw for the easy completion. Ball will be placed on the Southwest 36 yard line. That'll be first and 10. Now they'll go trips left with a man in the slot as they run off a lineman late. 
Slocum from the shotgun, low snap, he hands it off. Oh, great play behind the line. Number 63. Linton was there again, also number 63. Khalil White. White Steve Linton playing a good game he, he really is. He, he has played very well so far. Welcome. Back in the shotgun. Yeah. Three out wide right. Uh, this will be, that's where he's this going. This should be third down. And he pulls it down and runs up to about 40. Jermaine Cooley took him down. Stan, I thought that was fourth. third down. Yeah, it's gonna, this is going to be fourth down. It'll be I a believe. fourth down coming right. up. Yeah, they'll be a good six yards short. Actually, it's third down. I'm, I'm, I, I thought that was third down. I did too. Maybe not. I think it was, actually. Uh, anyway, Slocum Logan back to pass. Back. Big rush. He just had to Bad dump it pass. off. Jermaine Cooley was coming from his blind side like he was shot out of a cannon, and Slocum kind of sensed him and just threw it away. So that will bring up a fourth Now we know six. it's fourth down. <laughs> Patriots will be in a punting situation. Ball spotted at their 40. Strickland and Washington back deep for Dublin. A little bit of confusion there. Nope. Or I believe that maybe Carswell back with Washington, not Strickland. Slocum nearly blocked. Carswell feels it, now fumbles it, has the fall on it. I think he got it back. He did. That ball, that kick was nearly blocked by Dublin. And then Carswell just tried to run with it before he had it secured and was fortunate to get it back. Ball will be spotted at Dublin's 36 with 4.16 to go in the half. Dublin leading 7 0. Don't forget, folks, immediately after the game, we've got the offensive and defensive players of the game for the Irish brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. Martin goes in. <clears throat> Stacy Sharp directly behind Martin now. And then uh, Jones came back behind him and then went back and now is the inside handoff to Sharp. Short game, maybe two yards right there. Yep. Well played by the interior of the Southwest defense. I believe that was number 73 again, Stan, the kid. We don't know who he is because he's not listed, but he made a nice play. Linton goes in. Sign Washington goes in. Washington split wide left. Martin with the handoff to Jones or Mitchell, I'm sorry. He got a, yeah, he got a short gain of maybe one right there. Not much at all. 325 left yeah. to go. That'll bring up third and long for Dublin. Let's call it third and eight for the Irish with 319 to go in the half. And Dublin probably won't be in a big hurry to run this play. They may want to, thinking they may not pick it up. They'd like to use some clock, not, not leave South with them much time to work with if they do get the ball back. Oh, fumble. Yeah. Martin fumbled it and just had to, he did a good job of picking it up, but he's taken down behind the line. Again, by number 73, yeah. our unknown player. Right. He's got to be on here somewhere. Yeah, he's we, making yeah, too many plays. I'm, he sure is. He, uh, they'll know who he is after tonight anyway, if they don't now. I don't see the number on our roster. So the Irish now be in a punting situation on fourth and 12. The ball spotted at their 29. Timeout from the Shamrock Bowl. No matter who your team is on Friday night. Let's go Crusaders! Go Irish! Go Falcons! Go Raiders! 
Your Chevy team that can't be beat is... Dublin Chevrolet! Pick a Tahoe or Suburban and score up to $7,000 off... Dublin Chevrolet! Girls, one more time! Dublin Chevrolet! The only dealer you will ever need! They know a winning team when they see one. All right, we're back. Dublin 4th and 12 from their 29 with Gabriel Guyton in to punt. Guyton with that rugby kick off to his right. Knuckleball, oh, nice job by one of the Southwest up men to jump up. That yeah, one knock that air. ball down, he sure did, and recover it to get, get them great field position. That ball will be spotted somewhere around Dublin's 48 yard line. The Patriots with 2.05 to go in the half will try to go down and tie this game up possibly. Remember they only have one timeout to work with though. So the Dublin defense will try to come up and keep them, turn them away. Slocum in the shotgun, two men to his right, trips right, excuse me. Looks to his right, two throw, man out in the flat, complete. No nice game. job by Stacy Sharp, no game. Sharp closed on that receiver immediately when he caught it. Made a nice open field tackle. That was number five, I believe, Jaquez Penning, Penningman for them. Second down and about eight for the Patriots. Second and eight. Give him a short gain, call it second and eight. Slocum back to pass. Throws it off to his right. Got a man open. And he got and it. And I think he caught it. He did yep, get he it. He did catch it. That is complete. Yep. James Rozier tried to catch up to him and break it up, just was unable to do so. So it'll be first and goal from Southwest for Southwest. Ball will be spotted at the Dublin seven yard line with a minute and 32 seconds to go in the half. They've got, Stan, they've got Green, that linebacker playing tailback right now. That's something of a power set. Slocum. Keeps on the keeper, the yeah, went off fake to his left, then went off to his right and got maybe to the five. Gonna bring up second and goal from there with a minute and nine to go in the half. Again, Southwest with only one timeout to work with, so they'll have to manage the clock well right here if they don't score on either on second down. They got trips left. Slocum on the keeper, gets down to about, he's gonna be down to about the two. It's gonna bring up third and goal from there and you would think they'll use their timeout, Stan, with the clock melting away here. Third and goal, the ball will be spotted. Timeout Southwest. Yeah, timeout Southwest with 33 and a half seconds to go. There'll be third and goal from the three. For over 21 years, J.T. Hanna has provided Dublin and Middle Georgia with quality promotional products and superior service you can count on. J.T. Hanna specializes in screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We also provide customers with original artwork and logos through our talented in-house design. Our website makes designing and ordering t-shirts easy. You can design, choose from an uploaded template, or upload your own custom logo to easily create a lasting impression. Customers can also create purchase sites to make selling shirts for fundraisers or events easy and stress-free. Whether you need promotional items for your company or next event, JT Hanna can help. We take pride in delivering the highest quality products and we take pride in serving you. Try us. I think you'll like us. Contact us today at 478-274-1267 or visit us on the web at jthanna.com. All right, we're back from the Shamrock Bowl. You got 33 and a half seconds to go in the half. Southwest is third and goal from the Dublin three-yard line, looking to possibly tie the game up. Stan, they're now out of timeout, so if they run a play, say run the ball and don't score, that the clock could run out. Slocum with a handoff. Oh, oh big play behind the back. line. Jaquez Evans was there. Jermaine Cooley was there. Stacy Sharp was there. Great play by Dublin. Now it's fourth and goal. Southwest going to try to line up and run a play real quick going for it. Power backfield. 
Again, there's Jaquez Evans with a great play on great Green play. behind the line. The Irish will hold them with nine and a half seconds to go. That's a tremendous goal line stand by the Dublin defense. Jaquez Evans crashing down from his right defensive end position. Made two huge plays on third and fourth and goal. And Dublin's got a yep. play left. Yep. I would imagine that'll be just a handoff and get out of here with the lead, but we'll see. Tremendous play by Jaquez Evans, both on third and fourth in goal. He had help from a couple other defenders on third down, but on fourth down, he made that play on green by himself back at the three yard line. All right, Martin brings the Irish offense up. You would think they'll probably just run a simple handoff. Actually, he'll just take a knee. So that'll be the end of the first half. Well, let's see, the clock never started. All right, now it'll run. And that'll be the final play of the half. Your score at halftime from the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin seven, Southwest nothing. Dr. Jackson Fordham is a proud sponsor of local high school football on TV35. Dr. Fordham is located in his new office at 204 Fairview Park Drive. His experienced staff is ready to serve you today. So call and make an appointment at 272-4051. For all your dental needs, count on Dr. Jackson Fordham. On behalf of the Dublin City School Superintendent, Dr. Fred Williams, Dublin High School Principal, Dr. Tony Jordan, I present to you the Dublin High School Fighting Irish Marching Band. The band is under the direction of Arthur Agnes, Assistant Director Kirby Thompson, Isaiah Instructor Daphne Howard, Drum Majors Diane Maynard and Taylor Todd, Band Captain Carter Wood. The show is entitled The Voice, a tribute to Whitney Houston. The show will include How I Know, I Want to Dance with Somebody, My Love is Your Love, and Sony Mushroom.
score big with the Dublin Piggly Wiggly. Catch all the savings throughout the store. Score big with fresh produce, grocery items, dairy products, and don't fumble the handoff. Choose 100% certified Angus beef from Dublin Piggly Wiggly. Taste the difference today. Fresh food, friendly service, Piggly Wiggly. Your Chevy team that can't be beat is Dublin Chevrolet. Pick a Tahoe or Suburban and score up to seven thousand dollars off. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you will ever need. They know a winning team when they see one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the start of the second half. Southwest deferred at the coin toss, and they will now receive the kickoff, which should be in about five seconds. They'll reset the clock, and here we go. Official blow play in. And there goes the kick. kick. Kind of a knuckleball kick, and it will go out of bounds. Falls out of bounds. Uh, that's a penalty. First and ten from the 35-yard line for the pitch. Now the Patriots will have the option, which I think they'll exercise, to take the ball at their 35. Once again, our two like to Not to start doubling and hope for, coming out of the locker room at halftime. The Patriots will come out on offense, trailing 7 0. Dublin having made a tremendous goal line stand in the first half to preserve the lead. Dublin band for their great halftime performance. Thank you, band directors, and all your participants in the band. All right, here we go. Slogan with the inside hand off to Smith. One man Smith. missed him. He goes straight up the field, and he's got a first down. Eight, right? Really he one of the, the first 45. good gains up the middle on the Dublin there. Irish tonight by first Smith. Down. Yeah, they've Thank gotten you. some yardage on the outside, but like you say, that's probably the first time they've had a lot of success running up the gut. Slocum hands it off to Smith again. Again, he breaks through the line. Nice tackle, though. Nicely played by Monterey and Carswell. About a six-yard game yeah. there, Craven. And if Carswell isn't there, Smith was headed a long way with that ball. Obviously, Coach Slocum saw something in the Dublin middle, and he's trying to exploit that right now. Slocum, Slocum get, again, gives off right. to Smith again. Okay. Smith again, I should say. I don't, well, it looks like the spot. He may have gotten that yeah. first down. They're going to mark close. it on about I think he'll be a, maybe a yard short, but let's see. Actually, it is going to be a first down. Good eye, Stan. They're going to give him the first down on that play. Southwest driving, staying on the ground, and running up the middle. There's a swing pass, and Steve Linton got a big paw out there to disrupt Slocum's throwing attempt. Pass went incomplete. Bring up a second and 10. Ball resting on, they, they've got it marked at the Dublin 45. It's actually on about the 44 yard line. Marked at the 45 on the scoreboard. Slocum still at quarterback in the shotgun. Slocum Drops looking to back, his right. Goes long. Goes deep. Got a man going down the sideline. And it's. Wow. <laughs> Went through three sets yeah, of hands. It should have been intercepted, and then it should have been caught for a touchdown. Don't bring to up a third and stand, I thought had a beat on that ball at about the five yard line. Then when he missed it, there were two Southwest receivers kind of playing, I'll take it, you got it, with the ball in the end zone. That was a very well thrown ball by Slocum. Third down, 10 yards to go, ball resting on the Dublin 45. Welcome back, a little bit back. of heat on him, gets, throws an out route, and out, out, gets the first down. Yep. Nice throw. First down. It's complete, I believe, to number one, Valentine. That was Valentine on the reception. James Rozier had the coverage. He was about a step behind him, and a nice throw by Slocum gives him the first down. 
Got an inside handoff to Smith. Well played right there by the Dublin defense. A little loss on that yeah. play. Right there, about a yard yeah, long. Stacy Sharp at the bottom of that pile, also. Steve Linton again. Khalil White. Yeah, yeah Linton was in the area. Khalil White also on the stop. All of those guys have played very well tonight, as has the entire defense for them. Slocum back to throw, looking to his right. Got a man wide open for a and touchdown. He got it for a yep. touchdown. That's number right one. Down, yeah, he ran right down the hash mark stand. In between two Dublin defenders was wide open and a tremendous throw by Slocum for the easy touchdown. I'm not sure who caught that ball. Was it number one? Yeah, was that was Valentine? Valentine caught it. On the right there at the goal line, falls in the end zone. Makes the score seven to six. He had one Dublin defender inside him and one to his outside, but he was just perfectly placed right in between them. Now Southwest going to go for two. Hold it. He's holding it. And they get in. It's good. Brings Dublin coaches it. were screaming for a holding call, Stan, but they didn't make it. Two-pointer is good for Southwest. They had a strange lineup, caught Dublin a little off guard, I think. So your new score for the Shamrock Bowl with 10.21 to go in the third quarter, Southwest 8, Dublin 7. I'm Stan Cooey, the headmaster at Trinity Christian School. Academically, we've got great teachers here, great staff, employees that'll do everything to educate your child. Standardized tests are above the state and uh, national average. Graduates are able to get into the schools they want with the Hope Scholarship intact. Uh, we talk about building character and a disciplined and, and safe environment at Trinity. Most of all is that we're going to provide a spiritual background for your child to learn about Jesus Christ. You know, we have chapel for all ages. If you've got questions about Trinity that you want to come out and uh, see me, I'll be glad to meet with you or Pam Horn, our admissions director, and we'll be glad to meet with you and sit down and give you a tour. Come out and see us and we'll uh, tell you about Trinity. Shamrock Bowl Southwest to kick off. They have just taken the lead on about a 45 yard touchdown pass and then a successful two point conversion. Kick to uh, Strickland off Strickland's to his left. A little bit yep. of a lane. Off. He's up he to about a, the 43. Off the 40, so a nice return. Dublin will have excellent field position. Ball will be spotted on their 43 yard line. And let's see now what the Dublin yep. Irish can do. Their first possession of the second half, 10-13 left to go in the half. And of course, this is the first time they've trailed all night. Tight ball game. Defensive slugfest so far. Martin with a handoff, big Jones. hole for Jones, off to his left. First down. Yeah, inside there, 45. Uh, that was a great job by the left side of Dublin's offensive line. They opened up a tremendous hole for Jones right there. About a 14 yard. Yeah. Well, they're going to mark it back at the 44 yard line. It'll be a, about a 13 yard run. Yeah. Dublin line still doing a good job. Goes to Mitchell. to Mitchell, not much blocking. Good tough running though. Good he ran through several he goes tackles. Down all the way. Wow. Right. He That's ran through a couple tackles down. stand and nearly broke into the clear right there. Tremendous leg drive by Cortavis Mitchell right there. There was not a whole lot of blocking out in front of him on that play. He just kind of lowered his shoulder and ran right through a couple of tackle attempts. Ball will be placed on the 34-yard line of Southwest. Dublin first to 10 from there with 9.30 to go in the half. I mean the third quarter. Another handoff to Mitchell. He sticks his foot in the ground, goes inside the 30, down near the 25. About a seven-yard gain. Yeah. Nice run. 
and a line three or four four. Come on, our two leaders, let's cheer them on. Defense, 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 defense. The Irish continue to rush the ball in great fashion. Run blitz by Southwest Cooley. Cooley off to his left. Breaks into the clear right up the middle. Good tough running. Bounces off. It wouldn't got be tackling. All the way down to the 13, it looks like. Great run by Cooley right there. Southwest had their inside linebackers both blitzing on a run blitz. Cooley was able to get outside of them and a nice run right up. They wound up running right up the middle of the field. They just bounced off one of the attempted tackles to get several more yards. Ball will be placed on the southwest 14-yard line, first and 10 for the Irish. And Flag on the play. We got illegal motion. procedure on Dublin, it looks like. Yep. You knew it as soon as they blew the whistle. That's going to bring the ball back to about the 18-yard line. Where it's going to be first and 15. It's almost at the 19-yard line, it looks like. It is at the 19. 8-10 left to go in the third quarter. Strickland goes in. Strickland's out in a tight formation out to the right. Hand off to Mitchell. Good run to the outside down to about the 15. He didn't have a whole lot of blocking right there and just kind of picked his way for four yards. Bring up second about 11 for Dublin with 7.38 to go in the third quarter. Don't forget to stay with us. Immediately after the game, the offensive and defensive players of the game for Dublin brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. Martin goes in with the instructions from Coach Holmes. Second and 11. Ball resting on the 15 yard line. Strickland wide left, inside handoff to Cooley. No, no. he handed out to uh, Jones. Jones the is left all the way side. down to the four yep. yard line. Wow, again. I tell you what, Stan, Martin is just a wizard with those ball fakes. He's fooled not just me, but the entire Southwest defense several times. And Excellent. Cooley drew a lot of tacklers yep. on sure that did. play. He sure did. He's done that a couple of times tonight. That enabled Greg Jones to get out wide to the left for a nice game. It'll be first and goal for the Irish from the Southwest four yard line. It's a nice drive for Dublin trying to answer Southwest touchdown early. Hand off to He's gonna get it. Mitchell, he'll go in standing. Nice run by Cortegas Mitchell. They kind of faked that inside hand off to Cooley Stan, and he got the corner running to his right. Nobody was going to stop him. That makes your score Dublin 13, Southwest 8. Let's see if Dublin elects to kick the point after or try for two. I believe they're going to yeah, try for gonna two. They're going to try for two to make it a seven point ball game. Got Strickland split right, wide right, power formation. Now, now you got Cooley directly behind Martin. Pitch to Jones. He's going in. You he gets it. in. He gets in. I'm sorry, that's Mitchell. <laughs> Cortavis Mitchell. It's two points. Yeah, it's two points for makes, Dublin. Makes the score 15 to 8 15 in favor of the Irish. 634 Irish. remaining in the third quarter. Cortavis Mitchell accounting for all eight of Dublin's points on that drive. We want to remind everybody that immediately following tonight's game, 
The city of Dublin natural gas will, will award the most valuable offensive and defensive player to two players off the Dublin Irish team. Stay with us for that. What if there was a paint that had the power to awaken something old or painfully dated or something you simply thought was lost forever because it could form a strong bond regardless of age? If a paint could give any time-worn surface stunning new life, you have to wonder, is it still paint? Regal Select Exterior from Benjamin Moore. Quality products and installations since 1985. That's Four Seasons. All right, we're back from the Shamrock Bowl. It's 6.34 to go in the third quarter. Your new score, Dublin 15, Southwest 8. Stan, that was a great answer by the Irish after Southwest scored and made the two-point conversion to take the lead. Started with a kickoff return. They had nice field position and a tremendous drive. And then Cortavis Mitchell first with a touchdown run and then with a successful two-point conversion to give the Irish a seven-point lead. Evans with the kickoff. Short off to his right, and it's maybe going out of bounds. It is. Southwest will have good field position at that 35. Our winning ticket number, go to the green kid, is 982-9553. The point to the green kid. Missed it by four. <laughs> Slocum will bring the Southwest offense up. They'll be at their 35, first and 10. Inside handoff to Smith. Not much blocking. No, Great play by the Dublin defense. Jaquez Evans again with a big play from his defensive tackle position. Just could not be moved inside and made the play. Actually, that was number 27, their other running back. I believe that's Jones on the run, not Smith. Looks well like played they gave by him two yards yeah. on that play well looking played at the sidelines. Slocum back to pass, rolling to his left. Got a man wide open. Oh, tremendous play by Strickland. He was beating on that coverage. The guy had about two steps on him standing, and he just turned around and swatted that ball out of the air. Great play. Tremendous play. That could have been a touchdown if that ball goes, if he lost that'll, that ball over his head. That'll bring up a third and eight, Craig. The ball's resting on the 37. We got 557 left in the third quarter. Slocum still in the shotgun. Two men to his right. Slocum looks to his right, throws high. Way high. Had a man on a curl pattern at about the 45, and as you said, way high on that throw. So the Patriots will be fourth down in a punting situation, the ball at their 37. And they are bringing in their punt team. But of course, Slocum does the kicking. Zion Washington, number three, will be back deep for Dublin. Also, Monterey and Cars will be back with him. And they will spread the field on this punt team. Well, they really do. I would imagine they would fake it. That ball is almost blocked. In fact, I think Dublin may have gotten a piece of that ball. And that was number, number 19, Marcus Adams. Blew in there from the left side of the Dublin line and very nearly got that ball stand. I think he might have gotten a piece of that. Ball. They're going to mark it. It looks yeah. like at the 35. First and 10 on the 35 yard line. First and 10. Right. Is there a flag on the far side? Let's see. I'm Something not sure. The field. Let's check this. I think they're using First pink flag flags flag tonight. Flag on the flag. Yeah. There is a flag. Uh, illegal shift There's apparently on. Uh, Southwest, or either an illegal formation, one of the two. I thought Dublin might take a play on that, given them where the ball went out of bounds, but they're going to make them kick it again. And Slocum will be standing all the way back at his 20 when he kicks this ball. Oh, 
Coach Holmes figuring he'll get better field position by backing him up. Let's see how it works out. There's the snap, another good, good rush. Snap. Another Almost. good rush by Adams. Washington takes it on and the he, run, off to his right, down the sideline. Give me a run out of bounds, but in southwest territory. Nice job by Washington to come up and catch that ball on the run. And a good call field. by the Dublin Irish. It was. Great call by Coach Holmes to Taking make them the punt it again. He, he, he's going to gain. Let's see where they mark it out. They're going to mark it at the 45 yard line okay. of southwest, it looks like. So he's going to gain 20 yards. Thanks, that penalty. That's that hidden yardage that can play a big role in who wins a football game. 536 left in the third quarter. First and 10 Dublin Irish on the Patriot 45 yard line. Dublin in the wing tee with Stacey the fullback. Stacey Sharp right behind him. There Hand goes Jones. Jones. Not much blocking. He'll get a couple of yards off his left side. Well played by the Southwest defense. 49. Green in there on Green. that tackle. Green was there. He's a good looking inside linebacker. Second and eight, the ball will be placed at the 43 of Southwest with five minutes to go in the third quarter. And off to Mitchell around the right side. Good run, runs through a tackle, runs through another one. It'll be oh. down inside the 30. They gonna mark it at about the 27 yard line. Nice Maybe. run by Mitchell. Maybe the 28. That good run. Now you're watching a lot of slow movement of the Southwest defense back to their yeah, it, the, offensive line. The relentless pounding of the Dublin running game may be starting to take its toll on their defense. When the wing tee is working, it can do that. It can just pound you and pound you and pound you. We got a Dublin timeout missing a man called by Dublin. In the I'm, huddle, yeah. they called a timeout to so avoid the penalty. 435 to go in the third quarter. Your score, Dublin 15, Southwest 8. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank, big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Hey, 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 Zero percent financing and we'll just add it to your bill. Start saving today. It only makes sense. The city of Dublin natural gas. All right, we're back ladies and gentlemen. After that timeout, ball resting on the Patriot 28 yard line, first and 10 for the Dublin Irish. Cooley at the fullback position behind the quarterback. And he takes it. He takes Cooley. it. Good and tough he goes. Run. Bounced off one tackle. About eight yards up the middle. For 75. Atkinson yeah, on the tackle for Southwest. Ball will be placed right at the 20. It'll be second one. So a nine yard run for Jermaine Cooley right up the gut. Off again Cooley to Cooley. Again. Good tough run. Keeps going. Yeah, he's, he's still, still going, going down going to inside about the 10. Six or seven. Yeah, I believe it'll be down, down close to the five yard line. Nice run by Cooley. About 50, at least 15 yards on that run. Ball will be placed on the seven, so that's a gain of 14 yards for Cooley. Marking it at the seven with 344 left in the third quarter. First to go for the Irish, and now you've got a timeout Southwest. southwest. So your 
score from the Shamrock Bowl with 3.39 to go in the third quarter, Dublin 15, Southwest 8. I've been practicing mostly preventive and invasive cardiology. Example, the other day I had an elderly lady about 85 years of age who was referred to me because she had an abnormal stress test that was done at her family doctor's office and she was not taking any medicine and she was referred for a cardiac catheterization. Well, that's I consider inappropriate since the patient was not taking any medicines under the guidelines and under logic. Uh, the emphasis is on treating those patients uh, with medications and only if they fail medications would you then proceed to possibly further investigation such as a cardiac catheterization or the need for a stent which I do or the need to send the patient for a bypass surgery at a tertiary center. I don't have a mission statement but my statement is uh, go through life and touch people positively and make a difference in somebody else's life and that's how I practice and that's how I live. All right, Crather, if you're you, Southwest, call that timeout. If you're looking at, at their defense, they're, they're shuffling some of those bigger players in and out, and they are moving slow along that line. Now, that is not true for Mr. Green, who is all over the field. Number nine, the great linebacker for Southwest, who everyone believes is going to play at the next level. But I'm not sure what, what year he is. Um, Let's see. Randy Green is junior. only a junior. Yeah, he'll be, some, he'll be highly recruited next year. I believe. Come on, Irish fans, all you see. Come on. PA announcer urging, <laughs> urging the fans to support the Irish at the closed end of the stadium near the field house on the east side. Goes well, the inside hand off to Cooley. He'll go he in goes standing. In for the score. Wow. Great blocking by the left side of Dublin's offensive line. Jermaine Cooley with good, tough running went in standing. Makes the score now 21 8, Dublin. They will attempt a point after making a 14 point lead. All of a sudden, well, I shouldn't say all of a sudden, it really started in the second half of the second quarter, Stan. Dublin's running game is really starting to wear on that Southwest defense. A little bit of a high snap, they got it down. That I ball may have been partially it. blocked, but it goes through, so it's a good your new score with 335 to go in the third quarter. Dublin 22, Southwest 8. Hey, are you searching for a great used car, truck, van, or SUV? Head on over to Dublin Auto Sales, where the selection and value are sure to fit your budget. See Wayne Kemp, Bill Topping, Alan Fields, TJ DeRochi, or Freddie Cook today. Dublin Auto Sales, celebrating another great year in business. Now proud to be on both sides of North Jefferson Street with our new truck and SUV lot. You'll also find Dublin Auto Sales at 1705 Telfair Street in Dublin. Selection, value, and bank rate or in-house financing is available. So financing is never an issue. Dublin Auto Sales, if you're searching for a great used car, truck, van, or SUV, head on over to Dublin Auto Sales. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at the Shamrock Bowl. The score 22 to 8 in favor of the Dublin Fighting Irish, leading the Southwest Patriots. Oh, tremendous kick. That'll go into the end zone. Wow. Nearly to the end line. Tremendous kick by Evan. That gets the crowd fired up. That's interesting. The wind was basically blowing against him into our side of the field. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of coming from. What's that? The northeast. The northeast, I guess. All right. Southwest now down 14. So you would think, Stan, they may go to the air here to try to get back in the game. Well, certainly that is. Slocum's two men wide right, Forte. one wide left. Slocum and that's looking exactly to throw. what they're doing. Yep. 
Going deep going down long. the right side. That ball nearly intercepted. Yeah, James Rozier had a bead on it. Stand there. Receiver had to kind of turn into a defensive back right there to belt prevent, prevent the interception. Double coverage on that at the time that the ball got there. Well played by Rozier right there. He, yep. he was on that play all the way. Slocum again with two men right, one left. It's an inside handoff, breaking to his left. He gets Smith outside again, a yeah, he'll have a good run down about the, out the 29. <laughs> he'll be they're near gonna first down. Yeah, they're they're going to mark it at the 30 yard line, okay. so he's going to get that That'll first down. First down. Yeah. Just when you think they're going to go all pass, they slip in a run very effectively right there. Welcome rolling to his right. Evans pressuring him. Two back across the middle late, which coaches tell you never to do. Evans had a lot of heat on him right there. He had to get rid of that ball. That was a dangerous throw. Could very easily have been intercepted by one of the Dublin defensive backs. I think everybody back here the defensive secondary and his receivers were surprised by the throw. Yeah. And he just missed the mark. We'll bring up second 10 for Southwest. The ball placed on their 30 yard line. Slocum comes in with a play. Now he's got trips left this time. Or trips right, I should say. Low snap, hands it off to that Smith. And oh, Smith nice Kent. run. Yeah. Nice run, about six yards on the play, up yeah. to about the 36-yard line. Gonna bring up third, well, it looks like, yeah, third and four and a half or five. Third, let's call it five on the 36-yard line. Just, in, just inside the 30. Short five. Got two men to his left. Slocum looks to his left, under heat pressure. Throw, oh, nice break on that ball by Tobridge. Yep. He was going to Pennyman yep. that he time. Yep. And he, before the play, he called Pennyman back over where he was yep. the, to the quarterback position. And, but I lost Pennyman in the shuffle. Yeah, Tobridge <laughs> saw that ball coming all the way and broke nicely on it, was able to break up the pass, pass attempt. And Southwest is also capable of fake they punts. Are, because Slocum is the kicker, so that's always a danger. And I think Coach Holmes saw something in the lineup he didn't like. Dublin timeout. So with 2.15 to go in the third quarter, your score, Dublin 22, Southwest 8. When it's time to buy or sell your home, it's time to put the winning team at Century 21 to work for you. And our team includes Jody Tanner, Jim Jarrett, Pam Tillery, David Deves, Beverly Forbes, Ann Adams, Raina Dubberly, Benny Helton, Charlene Brantley, Ruth Watson, Jay Brantley, Charlene Lamp, Yvonne Robertson, Karen Widmer, and broker George Durden. So put the Century 21 Durden Cornegate team to work for you today, and you're sure to score every time. For more information, log on to c21dublin.com. Call 272-1535 or log on to c21dublin.com. All right, we're back. Southwest in a punting situation on fourth and five. Although Slocum is their punter and their quarterback, so you got to be careful. He does kick the ball. Good kick. Washington with an over the shoulder catch, fumbles it. He gets it. Did he get it back? Yeah, he did. Washington yep. got it that back. That was a dangerous attempt right there. He tried to catch it over his shoulder, which coaches tell you never to do. Dublin fortunate to get that ball back. 
and they'll start from their own 20 yard line. Once again, there goes the Irish. 2.08 to go in the third quarter with the Irish ahead by two touchdowns. Southwest has a defensive tackle running on late. Inside heading off to Mitchell. We get a few yards. About five yeah, on that play. Yeah, actually five, maybe six out. Look slightly past the 25. They're going to give him six yep. yards give on him the play. Six yards. He'll be bringing up second and four. Second and four. Nice run right there. Strickland goes in. 145 to go in the third quarter with the Irish up 22 to eight. Cooley directly behind Martin. Strickland offset the wing. There's an inside handoff to Cooley. He'll get near the 29. Bring up third and about one. Actually, they're going to spot that ball on the 28 and bring up third and two for Dublin from there. Directly behind him again, uh, Tanner Strickland and a kind of a wing, Tyler Strickland, I should say. Hand it off to Strickland. He'll have his first down across the 30 and across the 35, all the way out to the 37 yard line. Good run by yeah, Tyler good Strickland. Good run by Tyler Strickland. He, first and they kind of faked that inside handoff to Cooley, and he came around behind the quarterback and just took a handoff, took it off to his right. This might be the last good play of the third quarter. All right, here we go. Irish up to the ball. In the wing T. Cooley Inside gets the hand handoff. Off to Cooley, he breaks Cooley it down to his left. left. He's side. in the open field, across midfield, and down to about their 45. Nice run by Jermaine Cooley right there. Again, Stan, I keep saying it, great blocking by the left side of Dublin's offensive line. Got him in the clear, and a nice run by Cooley. Ball all the way down to the southwest 44-yard line. Now down under 25 seconds to go in the third quarter, so he may not get this play off. It's going to be close, yeah. but I believe they're going to get this play off. Yeah, I think so. Martin, the inside hand off to Cooley. He'll have about two yards, maybe three. So that'll be the end of the third quarter with your score, Dublin 22, Southwest 8. We got savings to cheer about here at Dublin Nissan. Dublin Nissan has Altima's discounted to as low as 19,488. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Second down, eight yards to go for the Irish on the Patriot 42-yard line at the beginning of the fourth quarter. And they're letting Cooley get a breather. Stacy Sharp's in directly behind Martin right now. A handoff to Jones around the left side, inside the 40. Bring up third down for Dublin. The ball will be just touching the 37 yard line. Let's call it a long fourth for a first down. In our Unknown player, number 73. Good pursuit, in on the tackle. Stan, I keep looking for how hard their defense of Southwest is breathing and they got hands on hip. 
because the Irish running game is really starting to wear on them. Well, they're in tight. The handoff to Cogwell, he'll be swarmed behind the line. Well played by their defense. He'll be thrown for a loss. Great surge by that right side of Southwest defensive line. The, the penetration just destroyed any chance that play had of, had of working. Green Bring blitzed on field. that play, came up the line, timed it perfectly. He was in the backfield yep, before they got started. I said he lost yards. He actually gained one, but it'll be fourth and three. However, I think Coach Holmes is going to choose to go for it, the ball on the 37-yard line. So again, I guess he figures if you punt it, you might well punt it in the end zone which would only gain you about 17 yards in field position, so you might as well go for it. Cooley back in. And he drew, I think he drew their defense offside with a hard count right there. That gives Dublin a first down. That's another thing, when you've got a tired defense, they keep trying to jump the snap count, get an advantage. Good job by Martin right there with the hard count to draw them off to give Dublin the first down. Ball will now be placed at Southwest 32 yard line and you can see how unhappy their defensive players are about that offside penalty giving Dublin a first down on a fourth and three play. Hand off to Strickland going around to his right, no blocking. Up. Yeah, he's tripped up. 73 again out there, he'll lose about Almost five yeah, yards on that play. Several yards, you're right. Well played by the left side of Southwest defense. They just stripped away all blocking right, double blocking right there. However, the good news for Dublin is they've got the ball and the clock's running with 10 minutes and 50 seconds to go in the game. Dublin ahead by two touchdowns, second and 13 from their 35. Martin with a keeper off to his left. Nice play by the defensive back. Would not let him get outside. In fact, he'll throw him for another loss. That was number 27 for them. I believe that's uh, Jones. Jaquavius Jones. Jones. Play a nice game. So that's going to bring up third. Yeah, they give him. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he lost four more yards. So it'll be third and 17 for Dublin. We'll be under 10 minutes to go when this next play is run. We've been talking about that Southwest defense, all of a sudden they've got new life. They sure do. Heavy pressure on Martin right there. He throws Good it. Throw. Oh, a nice catch nice by throw. Cooley. That ball could easily have been intercepted, but a great catch by Jermaine Cooley. Now will still be well short, but Dublin may go for it. And of course, the clock keeps running with the completed pass. We'll now be down under nine and a half minutes. Announcing the Dublin Civitan Fall Fair, set for October 17th through the 21st. Midway opens at 6 p.m. Tuesday through Friday and at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Don't miss a great family fun with Midway provided by Forever Young Amusements. Bring the whole family out for great family fun during the Dublin Civitan Club's Fall Fair. Midway, October 17th through the 21st. Gates open at 6 p.m. Tuesday through Friday, Saturday at 1 p.m. Unlimited armbands are good every Every day. Look for discount coupons throughout the community and save Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And we'll see you at the Dublin Civitan Fall Fair, October 17th through the 21st. Coach Holmes is really looking to work the clock, run as much clock as he can right now. 22, 21, clock running. Your hours, please, 22, the ball will be placed on Southwest 34 yard line. Dublin will be fourth and 12. Cooley will All come right, up directly behind Martin. And we got a flag. flag. They, they might have used too much time right there. 
And of course, again, what we said, Coach Holmes looking to run the clock, and it's now down under eight minutes. So that's not a bad play. You get to run some more clock, even though you took the penalty, you get to run. They ran about 35 seconds off that clock. And now the Irish will punt. The ball will be placed at the Southwest 39 yard line. Guiding in to kick. There's some confusion now with Dublin's alignment. They run a man on late who was not in on the punt team. Guyton off the rugby style kick. Effective. That ball's going to be go down inside the 10, going to be down near the five yard line where it's down by Tobridge. Ball will be placed on the, yep, on the five yard line. He downs it right at the five yard line. Southwest will start first and 10 from their own five with 8.50 left to go in the ball game. Great execution of kind of a pooch kick by Guyton right there. So Southwest down two touchdowns with the clock working against them right now. Stand up ball will actually be marked. It must have gone out of bounds because they're marking it up at the nine yard line. That's, thought, it, that's yeah. interesting. The ref, was the ref on the other side where the ball went was standing on the five. Yeah, I thought we had downed it at there at the five. Apparently it went out of bounds before then. Slocum now under center. I think that's the first time all night. Hand off. Oh, great play by the right side of the Dublin defense. No Stacy Sharp was there. Evans was in the area. Yeah, they try I'm not to, sure I understand that play. Yeah, they try to hand off. I guess they hope the catcher's napping, looking for the pass right there, maybe hit a quick hitter for a long run. But it didn't work. He did well to only get a no gain out of that, not lose yardage. Again, your clock's still running. We're now down under eight minutes and 20 seconds to go in the game. But the Irish ahead by 14. Slocum having trouble getting the play in late. He's back in the shotgun. Back to throw, back. looks to his left. Got a man open across the middle, but he missed him. He had Ball one of his, thrown yeah. low and in front of that receiver, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot of heat on him. I believe that was Khalil White putting pressure on Slocum. That made him make an errant throw right there. Third and 10 for Southwest now from their own eight yard line. 7.58 remaining with the Irish up 22 to eight. Slocum in the shotgun. Calls a timeout. Southwest had some confusion. The yeah, had to call timeout. So you got 7.58 to go in the game from the Shamrock Bowl. Your score, Dublin 22, Southwest 8. Allen's Heating and Air is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Air to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands. With the purchase of a new Amana unit, you'll get a lifetime warranty on the compressor. Allen's Heating and Air. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Air. Amana Heating and Air Conditioners. Last and last and last. All right, we're back at the Shamrock Bowl. Southwest facing third and 10 from their own eight. They trail by 14 points. And they are in a true spread. Yeah, trips right. Slocum back. Big pressure by Evans. He'll take him down take him for down. a sack. Jaquez Evans with another huge play on defense. Stan, he has played a whale of a game from his defensive tackle position. Now the Patriots will be fourth down in a punting situation, fourth and about 12. Ball back at their own six yard line. They're actually on the seven. With things out of kilter for the Patriots right now, you would think Dublin would let them kick out. Now, Dublin's in a punt safe stand. They don't have anybody back deep. Strickland kind of shanks that punt, although he does get a little bit of a roll. Ball out to about the 37, 38 yard line. So 
great field position for Dublin. And right now, while points are always appreciated, the main thing for Dublin is control the ball and the clock. As they're ahead by two touchdowns with time winding down here in the fourth quarter. Defense player of the game. <laughs> I got a good idea anyway. All right. Here we go. Dublin back on offense. Ball on the Patriot, 37 yard line. Dublin in the wing team. A little bit of confusion for Dublin with the, uh, well, they actually had Evans in the backfield. Now he moves up out to his tight end position. Cooley under, behind him, handoff to Mitchell. He'll shoot forward to about the 35, a short gain on the play of a couple That'd of yards. About two and a half, two yards. But again, we're down now, under seven minutes to go in the game. The Irish controlling the ball and the clock and the scoreboard right now. These guys are going crazy. The inside handoff to Cooley off the left tackle. He'll bang forward for a few yards down to about the 32 yard line. Bring up third and number 69 Jackson on the tackle for the Southwest Patriots. And he's a pretty big young man. He sure is. He made a nice play right there because Cooley runs hard. Only listed at 245. Bring up third and five for the Irish. Ball be placed at the 33 of Southwest with 540 to go in the fourth quarter. Southwest is down to one timeout. Also, in case they try to come back, they won't have much any timeouts to work with. Uh, that was uh, Jones off to his left, and somebody knifed in from the defensive front of Southwest and tripped him up. He only got a yard or so. Ball will be placed at Southwest 32 yard line, fourth and four for Dublin. They'll go for it to keep the clock moving. We'll now be under five minutes when this next play is run. I look for another hard count. Could be. Cooley directly behind Martin. Inside handoff to Cooley. No, Martin kept it going around to his right, but he'll stack up. Well played by the Southwest defense. They'll, Dublin will come up well short. However, they did run a lot of time off the clock, which is something they wanted to do right now. That was Green, number nine. Yeah, Green again. The he, middle linebacker. He's played a tremendous game for them. All right, ball will be placed.